Hey, my daughter scored a big dough here on the farm, which is wonderful. I've got that chopped up and in a bag here. I've got several bags of pork trimmings so we can do an equal equal. And I've got the sausage makers, Polish sausage spice and some veggie cure. And what are we going to make? We're going to make our Polish farmer's sausage today. Um, you can do this a couple different ways. I've already weighed out about an ounce or so of uh, my veggie cure, which is celery salt. I need two cups of ice water. Um, and I'm going to mix these two together and I'm just going to start this process and just walk you right through it. Farmer sausage is typically, or mezzanite sausage, a very bland, nice, um, kind of like ring sausage typically in my generations of growing up. So I really kind of like, I like this sausage. It makes a good meal. Now, my veggie cure there, as you can see, is a celery salt. It uh, replaces the cure one, or the insta cures, whatever you want to call them, pink salts. And it just takes a while to dissolve. As far as the um, uh, spices go, you're certainly welcome to look it up. Go to the sausage maker and look up their Polish sausage spices. I find that to be the best for my farmer sausage with years of experimenting um, with it. And I'm doing all my measurements here by weight, as you can see, because of how much meat I had. Because I'm doing a 50-50 uh, venison and pork, and I'm doing a 10-pound batch, um, I'm just trying to kind of make this work out mathematically right. So as you can see, I'm trying to get to a certain set of ounces here um, of the seasoning. And I'm really shooting shooting here to get it just, just right so that I get it right. Like I said, I've got an ounce of the salary, and I'm really trying to get that, that 5 to 4.9 ounces here of um, of seasoning and it's just it's never it's never easy I just really there you go 4.8 that's about what I want okay so there's there's my seasoning this makes a 10 pound batch the recipe I think on the label even goes higher I'm putting that in with the veggie cure and the two cups of ice water cold and then I'll just mix that all up and I'm just gonna let this sit for a bit um, while we work with the meat and stuff now everybody likes their farmer sausage a little bit different. I've seen some people who do smoke it, but for the most part it's not smoked. But because I got the veggie cure in it, we can smoke it. So if you wanted to, you could smoke this to probably about 150 degrees over like a hickory wood for one to two hours max until your meat gets up to about 150. This is pig lard. I'm cutting up about um, an ounce of it and then I'm giving it to my son Grant here. Now Grant is mixing this as he grinds, so he's doing venison, uh, pig, and then the pig lard. So he's just kind of running it through in stages. And I am doing a single grind on this, and I'm using a four and a half millimeter plate on a number 12 grinder. And then once I get done with that, into the mixer, here it goes. So Tabitha is dropping it into the mixer. You can see it's got a nice fat content to it. It's not over ground, because it was only ground once, um, and she's gonna put it in. Once I get it in the mixer, that's when I'm going to add my seasonings to it and then we'll let it age overnight. Stuff it the next day and then if you want to put a light smoke on it, you know, to, uh, you can because you got your veggie cure in it. If you don't want to put a light smoke, which I probably won't this year, you just um, vacuum seal it up and uh, case it and so forth. So here she's going to start the mix and I'm going to add the spices in. I like to kind of pour them slow so it spreads out a little bit more evenly for her and as you can see there's even a few ice cubes left in it I find that grinding cold meat works best and even mixing the cold meat well works good so now this is the next day after I've taken it out of the the fridge you can see it's it's darkened because of the cure that's in it and now we're gonna stuff it I'm gonna stuff it into about a 44 millimeter to 48 millimeter casing so a little bit bigger casing than most people would use for like bratwurst and stuff, but it makes a really, really nice hung sausage. So um, again, I'm gonna I'm gonna use that bigger casing for this. I'm gonna do them in 24 inch loop. Uh, so you could tie the ends and then hang them in the smoker if you wanted, but I also find they go into my vacuum seal bags real nice. And then you get a nice a nice meal out of that for the, for the family, which is which is really good. I'm leaving the ends a little long on the casings. I got plenty of casings. I'm not worried about it. I'm using a natural hog casing. You're welcome to use synthetic, but I don't care to. So I'm doing this for the purpose of good, healthy meat. That's why I'm not using the pink salt, because I don't like the dye that's in it. Um, it's a perfectly fine product otherwise. That's why I'm using the um, celery veggie cure, which is great. By the way, if you want to get that, um, you can buy that online. And like I said, I'd use about two ounces 
per 20 some pounds of meat. In this case, I'm only doing a 10 pound batch, so I only used an ounce or so. So as you can see, it, it cases up really nicely. I get a little air in it here and there. Just work it on the best I can. And, and a 10 pound batch, I think, makes, I don't know, maybe 10 or 12 rings at least. So you get meals out of this. That's 10 or 12 meals of deliciousness. Now, how am I going to cook this up? People ask that question all the time. I am a boiling water fan. So I get oh, probably about maybe two quarts of water boiling in a pan, pretty hot. And then I literally drop the, the farmer sausage in it and maybe do just a minute or two of that. And then I'll turn down the heat and I'll let it simmer until that sausage, you know, inside hits about 155 degrees. Once it hits about 155 degrees, it's ready to serve. I'll bring it over in the hot water. I will slice it in the hot water and give people chunks of it, about four inch pieces of it, <coughs> to which then you can put it on bread or slice it up and eat it. My daughter here, she's handling the tying. I do a lot of tying with staples on the bigger stuff, like the summer sausage and stuff. But when it comes to the farmer sausage, which I like to make a couple flavors, I make a garlic too, um, I do like to just tie it with string. It seems to work the best. These casings hold up really well. Um, I tend to keep them salted all winter and then very, very cold in the fridge or freezer, and they hold up really good. And I did um, unstring these, if you want to call it that, and soak them in water before making this sausage so there wasn't a bunch of salt on them. My daughter Julia and my bride here, Molly, they're running the uh, vacuum sealer. She's sealing the one end of the bag here first, and then she's going to pop it open, and she's going to put her... Uh, Polish sausage in it. You don't want to fold these too tight and break your casing. So just make a nice loop in there and then these really store well because of the vacuum seal bags. So as you can see here they're just dropping that in and then she's going to get this in the vacuum sealer and seal it down. There's very little moisture on these right now which is good because I just made them so they can seal pretty tight but again don't go so tight that you bust your casings okay. So you can see here, she's just going to vacuum seal this thing down. And when it gets tight, she's going to hit that manual button and seal it. So that way there's no chance that we crush it enough that we pop the casing inside the vacuum seal bag. It's a really nice way of storing them, folks. Again, it's kind of a two-day process. Um, it's an equal-equal the way I do it. So five and five, five on the pork, five on the venison. Um, like I said, the only supplies you need is the sausage maker's pork, uh, Polish, excuse me, sausage spice and then the uh, veggie cure and uh, this would be ready to go in the freezer now like I said if you didn't want to do this part and you want to put a light smoke on it for an hour certainly could and then you could vacuum seal it up and stick it in your freezer too I find smoking makes it a tad bit drier but gives a little more flavor now I'm making a bunch of sausages today so um, the garlic looks just just like the um, the Polish, but that's a fresh sausage. There's no veggie here. I made some brats. I'll show you that later. But these are the Polish sausage. It's a wonderful recipe, folks. I hope if you make it, you enjoy it. It's a nice, simple meat to make out of deer.